everyone, this is Paul Bertarelli reporting for AvWeb and Aviation Consumer. I'm at Garmin's Intergalactic Headquarters in Olathe, Kansas, where the company says it has a big surprise to show us. And here's Jim Alpizer to tell us about it. First, a quick look. Here at AEA, Garmin is announcing the GTN 650 and 750, the long-anticipated follow-up to the GNS 430 and 530 series. This is sophisticated stuff with touchscreen control, remote audio panel and transponder operation, and improved charting features. Here are the details. Well, we're here to, uh, to show off the, uh, the GTN uh, 650 and 750, uh, the 650 uh, being the, uh, the smaller unit here, the 750 uh, being the larger unit. Uh, we foresee these units as basically being the, the next generation 430 and 530, if you will. Um, we've gotten a lot of great mileage out of the 430 and the 530 designs, and uh, customers continue to ask more and more capabilities in those products, and this is our solution to, uh, to those questions that have been asked, the, uh, the GTN 650 and 750. The, the GTN 650 and 750 uh, take integration to a whole new level. Um, with the, uh, the 650 and 750 series, both have the ability to tune a remote transponder, the Garmin GTX uh, 32 or 33. That's a Mode C or a Mode S transponder, respectively. Unique to the GTN 750 is the audio uh, selector controls that are available through our new remote GMA 35 audio panel. In addition to be able to, uh, to control your uh, intercom and com frequencies graphically now, uh, we also have some great new uh, features that will come with the, uh, the GMA 35, including voice recognition in the future and uh, 3D audio. Both of those things will be added probably about a year or so after the initial GTN release uh, for the 750. Um, but overall, the design of the unit has been optimized to be uh, very attractive uh, in the, the flying environment. Um, when you've got a touchscreen uh, control device like we have here with the GTN 650 and 750, probably a natural question or concern is going to be uh, turbulence and what happens in a turbulent environment. Well, you'll notice the stylization of the units itself has these curvatures and even a little shelf along the bottom here of both units. And these uh, allow for basically anchor points for you to position your hand uh, so you can actually uh, do interaction with the unit, play around with the map display, and do various controls while riding along the bumps of, of turbulence. Uh, so we feel like we've successfully addressed that portion of the uh, user interface. Uh, with the graphical interface style, uh, we've really optimized and improved the simplicity of the unit. We've got a dedicated hard key uh, here at the top, which is your home key. Uh, this gives you a desktop-like environment where you can quickly, easy, easily access map controls, traffic, terrain, weather graphics, charting information on the 750. All the same thing is also true on the, the 650 down here. So the simplicity of this new GTN series goes unmatched in, uh, in what we've had previously. Fundamentally, uh, the GTN 650 and 750 are very similar units. Um, both are WAS certified GPS NAVCOM units. Um, they also have the ability to uh, both tune the transponder, as we talked about. Uh, the, on the 750, it's unique because of its uh, ability to control a remote audio panel, the GMA 35. Uh, the 750 is also unique because it has the ability to show charts. Uh, both electronically uh, from Garmin flight charts or the Jeppesen uh, um, JetView service can be, uh, can be displayed using our chart view rendering engine. And that allows you to see uh, not only the, the chart on the display here as well, but on the 750 with chart view we also superimpose the chart on the map display so it will rotate and move as the, the airplane is flying. Some of the other uh, differences between the two units um, really are some of the other improvements that we have with the, uh, the two units. Uh, both of them can let you see and fly airways. Uh, we've got the super high resolution uh, um, display that's been added and uh, really a whole host of other features that are soon, soon going to be coming as well. With the, uh, the GTN 650 and 750, um, the introduction we're doing here in conjunction with the AEA National Convention, uh, we expect to be shipping these products any day now along with uh, STC certification and TSO certification. The, uh, the GTN 650 starts in price at $11,495 and the GTN 750 starts in price at $16,995. Learn more at Garmin.com and you can read a full report on the GTN series in the April 2011 issue of Aviation Consumer at AviationConsumer.com. I'm Paul Bertarelli. Thanks for watching.